Another significant problem that comes with using a computerized mount is that you need to- I've been using my Celestron Nexstar 6 SE for almost three years now, and throughout that time, I've encountered quite a few problems and complications that I haven't heard anyone on YouTube talk about before. So, I thought I'd go over all my pros and cons about Celestron Nexstar telescopes and figure out if this series of computerized telescopes are really for you. So, let's get started. I'm going to change things up a little and start off with the cons. The first and most obvious one is probably the prices. Nexstar telescopes have prices that typically range from the hundreds to thousands of dollars. And if you're someone who doesn't take astronomy that seriously and is doing it for fun, then a telescope with that kind of price may simply not be worth it for you. Another currency these telescopes tend to take from you is time, because unlike non-computerized telescopes, Nexstar telescopes come in a lot of parts, and those parts are often even bigger. So every time you want to go out and set up your telescope for an astronomy session, you might have to spend a good 20 minutes, maybe even more if you're new, setting the whole thing up before your telescope is even fully ready. And that's not even including aligning it, which I'll get into. If you have even the slightest knowledge on computerized telescopes, then you'll know that they have the ability to track thousands of objects as they travel across the night sky, with you having to do barely anything. However, in order for these telescopes to do that in the first place, you need to align your telescope's mount on a few of those objects yourself. And if you're new to that kind of stuff, it'll probably take you longer than setting up the telescope itself. For me personally, it took me almost an entire year before I finally got the most out of my alignments and was able to properly track my objects. And I totally understand if you're someone who isn't willing to go through all that. Another significant problem that comes with using a computerized mount is that you need to update its firmware occasionally, which to you might sound kind of easy, but it's actually a lot more complex than you might think. It's hard to explain, but it requires a bunch of separate softwares and methods to do, and if you don't have any instructions to guide you along the way, you're gonna have a really hard time. You can trust me on that one. My final downside on using Celestron Nexstar telescopes, and probably most computerized telescopes for that matter, are their weights. If you're someone who travels a lot and would like to bring your telescope with you to places, then computerized telescopes aren't the easiest to transport. Not only are they extremely heavy, with a lot of them weighing dozens of pounds, but they're also really big and come in several different components. So if you're one who travels a lot, you should definitely take this into account. Now I know all those things I said earlier might sound pretty discouraging, but for me, as a full-time astrophotography, buying a Celestron Nexstar 6SE telescope was still completely worth it, mainly because after I'm done aligning it, I could look at nearly anything I want with little to no maintenance afterwards. Not to mention that most computerized telescopes have a lot bigger apertures, meaning you could get a lot more detail out of any object you're looking at. So with all that said, what kind of astronomer slash astrophotographer do I think Celestron Nexstar telescopes suit the best? Well, going off of what I just said, if you're a stay-at-home astronomer who's really passionate about the hobby and willing to spend quite a bit of money on equipment, then I think Celestron Nexstar telescopes are perfectly fine for you. And if you're not that kind of person, then you have nothing to worry about because there are a lot more telescope brands and different types of telescopes that you can buy. So your options are nowhere near limited, even if Celestron Nexstar telescopes aren't for you. I hope you learned a lot from this video and that you enjoyed it. And if you did, then I have more content like this, which will be linked down below in the description if you're interested. But anyways, that's about all I have to say for now. So I'll see you in the next video.